Good morning and welcome to the video for Monday, May the 11th for third grade. This is going to cover our new lesson working with identifying polygons. So a polygon is any closed plane shape that is made up of line segments that meet only at their endpoints. So one of the important things to remember is just because it's a closed shape doesn't mean that it is a polygon. It also has to be made of line segments and only line segments. Um, so let's take a look at the unlock the problem. I want you to um, take a look at all four of these shapes and see which things that we can say about them. Would it be a plain shape? Would it be an open shape, closed? Does it have curved paths? Is it uh, consisting of line segments? And is it a polygon? So I want you to think about those things for just a moment and then uh, pause the video when you're ready. Uh, go ahead and hit play and we will talk through the answers. All right, so assuming that you did that, what we are looking at, uh, this one would be a plain shape. It's a closed shape. Technically, it's one giant curved path. <laughs> Um, with it being a circle that we're using this in comparison to line segments. Um, it doesn't have line segments and it is not a polygon. Uh, so for the second one, um, we would be working with an open shape, a uh, curved path, and we don't actually have any line segments here. Um, so for part C, we are working with a plane shape that is a closed shape. Uh, that is made up of line segments and because it's all three of these things it is also a polygon and then letter D um, we do have curved paths sorry plane shape closed shape uh, we have curved paths we do have line segments but because we don't have a shape that is made up of only line segments we do not have a polygon for that so uh, going down to the bottom um, we have some things with sometimes, always, and never. So polygons are always plain shapes. Polygons are always closed shapes. They are never open shapes. And plain shapes are sometimes polygons. So again, this would be a plain shape. This would be a plain shape. But because they're not made up of entirely um, just line segments, that takes it away from being a polygon. So let's take a look at our next page. Um, so here we have six different classifications uh, or types of polygons. So what we're going to see is that the number of sides and the number of angles inside the shape are always going to match. Now, the type of angle may look a little bit odd. So for instance, if we come over to this one, which has five angles, we have one, two, three, four, but the fifth one is actually going to be right here. And we could actually find the angle of that um, by doing a couple tricks. We're not going to have to worry about that for a couple more years uh, with finding the angle of an interior angle like this. Um, you could also say that we could uh, say that this counts as being the fifth angle. Um, that sort of works, but uh, we would measure usually from the inside. So uh, to complete this, uh, we are going to go ahead and say a quadrilateral is a four-sided object that has four angles. A pentagon is a five-sided object that has five angles. A hexagon is a six-sided object with six angles. An octagon is an eight-sided object with eight angles. That is a very curious looking one. And a decagon is a 10-sided object with 10 angles. And so to compare to our stop sign, which is our most common example of an octagon, we see that again down here, we would have eight sides, eight angles, and is the shape of a uh, stop sign, uh, we would say that that would be an octagon. And I'm just going to abbreviate for purposes of time. Uh, for Sharon Show at the bottom, uh, the shape at the right is a polygon. Um, so we'll talk about more specifically what the um, proper name of this uh, would be next year. Uh, this would be a trapezoid. Um, so it's going to be a plain shape. We have a shape that is made up of only line segments. 
it's a closed shape and we have one, two, three, four sides. And so that would be a quadrilateral. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the chance to do another pause and uh, take a look. Risen Christ students, I've asked you to do um, three, five, uh, seven, nine, 11, and 13. If you are working um, on any other problems and you're finding my YouTube video in a different way than my students, um, go ahead and again, pause the video, work on the problems that you need to. We're just gonna be answering is the shape a polygon, yes or no? And we're gonna be talking about how many sides, how many angles, and what the names would be um, as we go through this page. So go ahead and pause real quick. And when you're ready, hit play, and we'll go ahead and uh, talk through the answers. So assuming that you did that, uh, let's go ahead and look at number two. So the first one, we do not have a closed connected shape. Uh, made up of only line segments. We do have a shape, it's not closed, and it is made up of line segments, but we don't meet all the requirements uh, to be a polygon. Number three would be yes, number four would be no, again, because we do not have a closed shape. If we had an extra line that extended this way to connect, um, we'd almost have something that kind of looks like an anvil. Um, maybe not perfectly, um, but if we had closed the shape, we would meet the requirements for it to be a polygon, even though it would be a rather unusual looking one. Uh, number five, we are going to have a triangle, which has three sides, three angles. And uh, number six, we have a hexagon, which is six sides, six angles. Number seven, we have a hex, excuse me, we have a pentagon, which has five sides, five angles. And again, I'm abbreviating for uh, sake of time. Uh, is the shape a polygon? No, for number eight, because while we have a closed shape, it is not made up of line segments. Number nine, we have a shape made up of line segments, but it is not a closed shape. So again, we have no. And number 10 would be yes. We have a closed shape made up of only line segments. Uh, number 11, we have four sides, four angles, and this would be our quadrilateral. Uh, this one for number 12 would be a five-sided object, which would be a pentagon. Um, we have five sides, five angles, and number 13. I'm willing to bet that this is probably 10. Uh, let's <laughs> go around and check one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so ten sides. Um, at some point in the future, we will talk about things that are larger than ten sides, but that will be uh, much larger, longer down the road. So we have a decagon uh, for that. For the homework for today, again, um, if you were confused on whether uh, number eight was the correct answer or not, if you Look at uh, number one for the homework, we would see that. So again, for a polygon, we are looking for a closed shape made up of only line segments. We can't have any curves uh, or arcs in there. Um, so go ahead and uh, Risen Christ students, you're doing two, four, six. Um, on the front, I don't think there is anything too confusing. Yeah, with number six, you can refer back to our second page of the lesson to figure out whether um, an octagon is supposed to have six or eight sides. Uh, let's see, number one and number two on the back. And then, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I would need to explain. Maybe number four. So if you're having to work on all of the problems on the back, when we were working with fractions um, as parts of a group of holes, um, think about making four groups with enough, uh, or splitting eight objects into four groups and then one of those groups would be the number that we would be counting because they would be blue necklaces. So um, just to kind of uh, bring back something that we worked on a little while back. Um, so hope that helps for the lesson. Again, the homework video will be coming out on Tuesday and uh, we've got two more lessons this week and two more lessons next week uh, before we do the end of the year activities, which will include 
a virtual field day, which I am planning on putting on the YouTube channel. So if you are not one of my students and you would love to uh, play along, it's not going to be a live video, but it will be pre-recorded and you'll be able to do certain activities at home uh, with your family and friends, depending on um, social distancing guidelines and so forth. So it's kind of like a social distancing uh, field day uh, as you can uh, accomplish that at home. So hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.